A little poof so cute I'm loving how the bed turned out with all of our little additions here with the pillows it's honestly starting to feel like the bedroom of my dreams so cute we just need to get a new light cuz uh, that one's well it's broken and it kind of looks yellow so I'm not digging it So we've got food expert Nicole Gonzalez here joining us. Thanks so much for being here. morning vlog fam welcome back to the channel I'm really excited because it's Sunday today which is like one of my favorite days I love Sundays because both Matt and I are home and usually it's just about more just like catching up on stuff like life and also just having a chill day so uh, we're actually just about to head to the gym which I want to start sharing more about our fitness journey on the channel and on social media if you guys follow me on Instagram uh, you'll see I usually share when we're at the gym and stuff because I feel like it helps keep me accountable but also helps motivate you guys so many of you guys always say when I post my gym stories it helps motivate you guys to go to the gym as well and I just feel like during the whole cookbook process which by the way we just officially launched the cookbook this week which was so crazy we had our uh, cookbook signing day went to a bunch of different chapters and just signed books we also did a huge what I called our book wedding it was so much fun so that vlog will be coming soon if it's not up already and it was, it's just been the most magic magical week and I'm excited that the book is out but I'm also excited to get back to my routine I feel like because of all the craziness I haven't been as good with going to the gym and just like meal prepping and all of that so I you guys know I'm trying to get back into the meal prep game and fitness is also something that's really important to me I work out mainly for just my energy levels and my mental health. I feel my best when I move my body. So for me, it's not about getting a six pack or anything, but it is nice when you see some changes and I feel like I wanna be more consistent with the gym uh, and so I can actually see some progress and it's not just like a maintenance thing. So I've been trying to push myself a little bit harder. Matt and I have been going to the gym the last this will be the third morning in a row. So I'm really excited because usually I just do classes, but lately I've just been like putting on good music and just doing my own like cardio and weights and stuff and creating my own uh, workout routine, which has been really fun. So I'm also gonna be sharing our post-workout smoothie that I've been loving because you guys always ask me what's in my smoothie. And I'm actually very excited because this video is sponsored by Your Super who make these amazing superfood blends that you can just easily add into your smoothies or your oatmeal or or really whatever you want and I like to do them in my smoothies so I'm gonna show you guys all the different blends that they have their ingredients are amazing and I just love the different blends that they have so I'm gonna show you guys how I like to use them and what's in my smoothie I'm just really excited to start getting back into the gym game and just starting to see results and make it a more consistent habit and not just something I do like here and there so I'm gonna finish drinking my herbal coffee. I'm gonna throw these clothes in the laundry and then we're gonna go to the gym. So for my pre-workout snack, I'm just gonna have a small handful of some Brazilian nuts as well as about half of a banana. This is a really large banana, so I'll probably split this with Matt. It's still pretty early, so I don't wanna have something too heavy, um, but this is just something I like to just have before I work out to energize me. And then when I get back, I'll have my full breakfast smoothie.
is when you have the studio room, oops, to yourself and you drop your wall. So we're just gonna do a couple more things here. Maybe we can even do a circuit mat. And we're just gonna finish up our workout. So yeah, there's no classes right now, so we can just use the space, which is nice, and do our own thing. sweaty and shaky. That was hard. <sighs> I need to hydrate. <sighs> Good workout. Back at home now and I'm going to blend up a post-workout smoothie for Mr. Matt and I. I love just making a huge batch of smoothie and just sharing it because it's so easy just to double it. And I'm going to show you some of my favorite powders from your super that I've been really enjoying putting into my smoothie. I'm gonna run through all of them right now to show you guys. They're so good, you seriously need to try them. The quality is unreal, and it's just so easy to add into your smoothie when you're blending it up. Can you, um, can you not? Thank you. So these are the seven different blends that your super carries. And what's really awesome about these is they're super customizable, whether you're looking for a protein powder, some extra greens, some energy, chocolate. Uh, this one here has a ton of antioxidants. This one here is a matcha one. Chloe loves this one. It has a little kick of some energy. I also love how clean the ingredients are. They're just whole foods. This one here is wheatgrass, barley grass. I never remember how to say that. I think it's really high in vitamin C though. Then we have Moringa, Spirulina, which you guys know I love, and Corella. Super alkalizing, I love greens, and I think this is just a nice way to add some extra nutrition into your smoothie, just in a really convenient way. So I just wanna show you, look at this color. That's how you know it's just real whole foods. Blended up, nothing bleached, no additives, just clean superfoods. Even this one, you can still see the chia seeds in there, that vibrant antioxidant color, so gorgeous. And then this protein powder, it's not bleached or anything, it just still has its lovely green hues. For my protein, I'm gonna use the Your Super Skinny Protein Blend that has pea protein, hemp, moringa, spirulina, and alfalfa. I'm also gonna add a scoop of the Super Green for some extra alkalizing greens, and the Forever Beautiful, which has already some fiber from the chia seeds, which I usually like to add anyways, and lots of antioxidants and some just awesome ingredients in there. Okay, so the great thing is, is that you can just customize your smoothie however you like, and Matt likes to add some energy. So I'm gonna add this energy bomb. So I'm gonna add in a scoop of this now to the blender, blend it up, and now he has his own customized blend, which is really nice because I don't do well with caffeine, but Matt can't get enough of it. So that's what that one looks like.
So really delicious and yummy. I promise even with all those superfoods, it's still drinkable. It tastes really good actually. Yeah, you put peanut butter and banana in there. It's delicious. This one is obviously a little bit more green, which I prefer, uh, but if you want something that's more chocolatey or sweet, you can use some of their other blends, and I just think that they're delicious and really easy to add, and they just like blend right up. You don't even know they're there. Like It tastes a little bit earthy, because I added the protein powder and the greens in here, but, but it's delicious. I like it. You guys know I love my smoothies. Also, if you guys need help on building your own smoothies, I have a full, free downloadable uh, how to make the perfect green smoothie guide. I will link that down below. It's super easy and it's basically how I make my green smoothies all the time. I'm gonna link the smoothie that I made today down below in the info box if you guys wanna get that recipe. Honestly, I just like eyeball everything, but I know some of you guys want like exact measurements, so I will have that down below for you guys. Uh, as for the rest of the day, I think we're just gonna be like tidying up around the house. Nothing too exciting. I may take Cashew out to the park and then I may wanna go to Winners to grab some more kind of fallish decorations because I've been slowly decorating the place. I just wanna do, get some, get a few things for the bathroom. Uh, and that's like pretty much it. And then I have some things I wanna organize. Just like, I don't know, Sundays, you guys know for us, they're just like catching up for the week and just also having some time for us, like working out, Having a good slow morning is what my Sundays are all about. So, and oh, let me give here, Matt. I'll give you your smoothie. Mm -hmm. So yours has the energy bomb in it. Oh, it's very full. Dangerous, hey guys. Oh, that's nice. Tastes peanut butter. Do you feel energized? Not yet. But I think I will. I need it today. I feel like lethargic. We just have so to make sure we don't mix up our smoothies. Yeah. I, I'd be like... <laughs> no, it's good. It's good, really right? Good. Like I said, I have a coupon code, HealthNet for 15% off. I will link down below if you guys are interested. So good. All right. I'll let you know how much energy I get from this energy bomb. Yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're, I'm going to get changed. We're going to do some stuff around the house and then... Meal prep. Well, Matt's already meal prepping, but well, part of it's we're back on it. So this is on our to-do list today. I bought these a while ago from Walmart, actually, and I just thought they were so cute. You just have this like little hanger to hang them up, and I have two of them. And yeah, they're slightly different sizes. And then also at Walmart, I found this moss, like variety of moss, and I thought this would be really cute to fill these up with because this is gonna hang over the bed kind of next to Matt and Matt doesn't want real plants in case there's like, I don't know, bugs or something falls on him. So this was the next best option and you're not gonna really see what's in here anyways because it's pretty high up. So you'll just see kind of that there's something green in it and then we won't have to water it, which is nice. So I'm gonna just fill this up. I've never done this before, so we'll see what it looks like and then hopefully we can hang them up. I kind of just did a mixture. P.S. This stuff makes a mess. It goes everywhere. So I'm hoping it doesn't budge once I have them in here properly, but I think when it's actually hanging, you'll just see a little bit of each color and you won't really know what it is, but it will look like something is living in there and I'm just kind of like fluffing it up. But I think these are so cute. Oh my God, this is like the cheapest DIY ever. Look at me being so crafty. So Matt made some lunch. He just meal prepped a bunch of, I think these are turkey burgers and chicken sausages from Costco. And then he just cooked up some frozen peas and corn and yeah, I mean, veggies and meat, <laughs> what a guy. But I'm gonna have this for lunch right now. Okay, so real talk, <laughs> I just woke up from like a nice two and a half hour nap. It happens maybe a handful of times throughout the year. I'm not a napper, but man, when it happens, it's good. I totally just fell asleep on the couch with Matt. Matt woke up a little bit shortly after, but I was just having a good 
nap and I think just like all of the go 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 from the cookbook launch this past week just caught up with me and also going to the gym more often <laughs> I feel like I just needed a nap and you guys know I don't drink coffee or anything so I always say that I need my energy from good sleep and I think I just needed some extra hours because I had the best nap ever so yeah I guess it was that time of the year for my for my one out of five naps <laughs> um, but I, I feel like it was just long enough that I don't feel groggy if that makes sense um, but yeah that's what happened Matt just saw me pick up the camera he's like are you gonna say that you just had a nap I'm like yeah totally so uh, we're gonna hang up those little uh, hanging mm. pot uh, plant planters that I started filling up and then I kind of just left a mess Literally just just left it all there. Uh, we're gonna hang those up now, and then I'm actually gonna put away my laundry, throw in a couple of loads, and then there's this drawer in the bathroom that I really wanna organize. So I just have a few things on my list today that I really wanna get done before the start of the week. Um, apparently napping was one of them. I'm gonna grab Matt, we're gonna hang these, and see what it looks. I'm like really excited. It, the, the room is really coming together. You guys know we got a new bed. So freaking comfortable. I will link our mattress down below. Oh my goodness, I've been having the best sleeps ever, so I'm just loving how it's all coming together. We're just screwing the little hook into the anchor and I will link these down below for you guys if you're looking to do something similar and it will just help, help it hold a little better. My little handyman hanging my planters. at length. All right, those look so cute. It's getting a little dark right now, hence why fall is around the corner. <laughs> it looks a little cloudy too. Anyways, those are done. Laundry's in. I'm gonna possibly organize that bathroom drawer. It's pretty messy. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it just makes me happy that every week we get something done in the house because it can get overwhelming when you move into a new house or you just have a lot of projects on the go, uh, things to do around the house. Like even if you've been in the house for a long time, usually there's like a list of things that you're meaning to do. So I would just say tackle them one at a time, plan a couple things to get done each week and then eventually you'll look around and be like, wow, like we got them done. It looks really great. So those are done. I'm really excited because that was like a little DIY project of mine. That's as like much of a DIY project that I do, so I'm proud. <laughs> All right, so I'm just finishing up laundry. I'm on my third load. I think that nap gave me like this boost of energy because usually I really hate doing laundry, but I think it's like, it's like 10.30 right now and I'm still doing laundry, but I just want to get it all done. Uh, so that way it's all done for the week and I don't have to think about it. I'm also gonna do some rolling. I'm been, I've been trying to roll out my quads and IT band lately because I find they're really tight and they've been giving me some knee issues sometimes when I'm doing squats. So I'm rolling them out. This is a roller that I got off Amazon and it's supposed to be a really, really good one. It's the one that I use also when I'm at the gym. Uh, so I'll link it down below and yeah, I'm going to do some rolling. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see like more info on like how I do it and like why I do it. But yeah, it's been a really fun day. I just, yeah, that nap was like definitely unexpected, but it happens and I think it was probably much needed as well. Uh, question of the day today, what is, what is your workout routine? Do you work out in the morning? Do you work out at night? How many times a week do you work out? What type of exercise do you like to do? 
what is your workout routine? I would love to know. Leave a comment down below. Uh, for me, it's like a mixture. I would say I usually work out between three to four times a week in a good week. Sometimes I'm lucky if it's once or twice. It's different every single week depending on my work schedule because um, that's just life. You like, you know, want to want to work out a certain amount of times a week, but it doesn't always work that way. So my thing is just trying to go as often as I can when it makes sense. Um, but things even like walking cashew, you know, I feel like count just moving your body It doesn't have to be necessarily, you know an hour at an actual gym It can just be moving around going for a walk in the park or something like that I think is really beneficial too and once again a huge thank you to your super for sponsoring this video It means a lot. I love working with brands that are just doing really awesome things And as I mentioned you can use the code health nut for 15% off your order links and information uh, down below in the info box and i will see you guys in my next one be sure to subscribe i post new vlogs here every single friday we also do videos on monday and wednesdays and uh, if you guys have not ordered the health nut cookbook links down below as well it's available it's out in the world right now and i know you guys will love it so many of you guys have already been making the recipes and it's like making my day every time i see your photos so thank you so much i'm gonna go roll it out i'll see you guys in the next vlog bye